Hello once again everybody, Steve Pelican getting you updated on what's happening with Louisiana's Raging Cajun softball team and a look around the Sunbelt Conference. Cajuns play their Sunbelt Conference home opening series this weekend as they take on the UT Arlington Mavericks in a three-game weekend Sunbelt Conference series. Now a little bit of a different schedule for the Cajuns uh, this time around. They're going to be playing six games in a matter of five days. On Friday, they play their first game against UTA, the opening game of that three-game series. That will be a 6 o'clock start time. Saturday, a doubleheader uh, beginning at 1 o'clock. They will take off Sunday, and then on Monday, they welcome Georgia Southern to town. Single game on Monday evening at, uh, at 6 o'clock, and then a doubleheader on Tuesday at 4 o'clock. All games right here on ESPN 1420 and .com. You look at the up updated Sunbelt Conference standings right now. Georgia State, ULM, and Texas State all 3-0 and in the league. Louisiana is 2-1. and South Alabama is 1-2. and Troy, Appalachian State, and Georgia Southern all 0-3 in the conference right now. You notice I did not mention UTA, and that's because uh, the Mavericks did not play. Uh, they were the only team that did play last week in a Sunbelt Conference opening series. So, uh, you know, uh, an interesting weekend coming up as well. The, the Cajuns currently stand on the season at 17-3 overall. Should I say 17 and three in Sunbelt Conference? Um, 17 and three overall, and uh, two and one in Sunbelt Conference play after defeating South Alabama two of three last weekend in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, Coach Michael Lotif, I'm sure, uh, wanted to sweep last weekend in Mobile, but yet at the same time. You know, you win two out of three from a top 25 team on the road. That's actually a very good thing, of course. And the Cajuns have played ranked teams in the state of Alabama over the last um, over the last couple of weekends. But uh, uh, you know, um, right now you got to be happy with the Cajuns because uh, you know they, they're two and one in Sunbelt Conference play. They played the toughest team in the conference, probably besides themselves, and now they're coming home from a nine-game homestand. Albeit those games will be played in a relatively a uh, short amount of time. Uh, you look at uh, other games this weekend. Texas State will be playing host to Georgia State. Appalachian State will visit Troy, and ULM will play host to South Alabama. Now you look at the uh, at the Sun Belt Conference statistics right now, and sure, there's a lot to be decided. You know, UTA talking about them this weekend, a much improved team. They're 14 and 10 on the season. Don't really know. Uh, how much improved they are, though. You know, they are. Um, uh, they haven't played the best of schedules, but congratulations to them for uh, being a whole lot better right now at this standpoint in, uh, in time. Uh, meanwhile, Georgia State leads the league in hitting at a 366. Um, they have homered 26 times, 129 RBIs. UT Arlington right now second in the league in hitting at a, at a 365. ULM is third at a 321. And then the Cajuns check in in fourth place at a 316. The Cajuns lead the league in pitching, of course, led by Christina Hamilton and also John Wallace. The Cajuns sport a current 1.27 ERA, followed by South Alabama at a 2.38. Everybody else in the league right now uh, is uh, over a three, including UT Arlington, who uh, has an overall team ERA of a 462. I haven't seen UT Arlington uh, play yet this season, but they seem to be a much improved team, but still a team that lacks some pitching. And really, that's what separates the, the really good teams from the, from the still rebuilding teams. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, how UT Arlington performs this weekend against the Cajuns over at uh, at Lamson Park. And, you know, you look at the standings right now, uh, uh, again, competition will be getting tougher for some of these teams, but the bottom line remains that Appalachian State and Georgia Southern are the only two teams in the conference right now that are under 500. So that's a look around the Sunbelt Conference in terms of Sunbelt Conference softball. Again, Louisiana's raging Cajuns in action a lot over the next few days. Uh, Friday, a single game. At uh, 6 o'clock, as they take on the UT Arlington Mavericks, the opening game of a three-game weekend Sunbelt Conference Series, doubleheader Saturday at 1 o'clock. Then they welcome Georgia Southern into town on Monday after taking Sunday off. That'll be a single game Monday evening at 6 o'clock, a doubleheader Tuesday at 4 o'clock. And the following weekend, they'll wrap up the nine-game homestand as they play host to the Troy Trojans. So busy weekend for the Cajuns, busy weekend in the Sunbell Conference. That's your UL softball preview and Sunbell Conference preview for this week. For ESPN1420.com, I'm Steve Poliquin.